That's a fish. That's a fish. All right, take him. Got him in gear. Yeah, I got him. Yep. In summertime, there are lots of strategies you can implement. And one of my favorite ones is trolling open water, trolling weed edges, and trolling big flats. And we are on Lake St. Clair, which is big water, and it's a troller's dream. There's so many areas you can go after. I'm with my good friend, Tom Sullivan. Tom, we got a little wind. We got to take it easy in that, but what do you think? You know, Jim, we've had great success trolling in the fall. It's been a long time since we've trolled early season, but we're on Lake St. Clair, tons of fish, Big fish, hopefully the wind don't blow too hard. We'll use it to our advantage. We're gonna get them. The Muskie Hunter, brought to you by Yeti Coolers, Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, Ontario, Canada, Shimano, Power Pro, Mercury Outboards, Ranger Boats, Joe Booker Outdoors, Muskie Mayhem Tackle, Motor Guide, and Muskie Innovations. Groundbreaking designs, unsurpassed quality, and unshakable confidence. Welcome to the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series. Leading the industry for over 50 years, these rigs are custom crafted and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver the ultimate ownership experience. The legendary Ranger Z series, unleash next level performance. Mercury, go boldly. I use the flip daily. I'm fishing all the time in all types of conditions from snow to rain to super dry and hot days. Having a product that can not only work as a cooler for me but also as a dry bag is super important. It's kind of like a puzzle in my boat. I can plug in one size like the 12 and then the 18 goes here. It keeps my boat big and it makes my day on the river that much more enjoyable. At Mercury, there are no limits to what we'll do to make sure you have no limits either. The V8 Mercury Pro XS. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. Fifteen foot. Ready. In early summer, when you get the big heat and we've got some warm weather finally, one thing that happens is a lot of times fish are scattered along flats. They're out over the abyss or they might be just out from the weed cover. And when the fish are scattered, a great way to catch them is trolling. And Tom and I are out here trolling this open water out on Lake St. Clair trying to get a bite. Fish? Fish, yeah. Fish? I think so. Keep going. Down one? Yeah. Okay. Get the waypoint. Keep it in gear. It is a small one, a tiny one. I see him back there. Yeah. You're good. I got a waypoint down. Okay. Let's keep it here. Yep. Grab the net. Yep. Little shaker. Little shaker musky? Yeah. You want to net him? No, I think I'll let's unhook him. I think okay. I can unhook him. All right. It's a crazy rip. We were making an outside turn and 
you know, the, the board went back, we were hearing that noise, but I wasn't even sure if it was a fish or not. But obviously it was. When you're fishing, you know, Lake St. Clair as we are today, or any of the other Great Lakes waterways for that matter, they're such large, expansive areas you're fishing. We're fishing a large flat today, and we're, we're talking, you know, massive. So what we're doing is the key thing, obviously, as we always know, is bait fish. I mean, that's the magnet for these muskies. So that's the first thing we're looking for. No matter what our depth is, we're looking for bait fish. And the key thing, one, one thing you'll find is on these Great Lakes uh, waterways, when you find the bait, you're also going to find other boats because those muskies travel in packs. So when you find the bait, you also find the other boats. Stay on those, in those areas, stay on that bait fish, and you will get bit. So now that we caught that one, we're going to try to replicate the same thing. Have a couple of the same bait out with the same amount of line. You know, we're fishing in about right now. We caught that one in about 16 foot of water. We're just going to replicate what we did with multiple lines and see if we can't get more to bite. That's a fish. Come on. No? Come on. Big waves. That's all that is. Water get, you know. Board's getting hung up in those big waves. Yeah. Fish, fish, fish. fish. Sounds like a better one. Yeah. Got him again. Yeah, I got him. Yeah. Let me get this one up first. You get a waypoint, buddy? Yep. Oh, yeah. Nice. How's he feel? Talk to me. Feels good. Okay. You tell me when you need me. All right? Yeah. About 20 foot from the board, 30 foot from the board. I'm here and ready. Okay. I'm gonna step back. Okay, step back. Keep it up. Oh yeah. Got him? Yep. 20 feet. 15. 10. Stand down. Stand down is good. Oh yeah. Got her. All nice. right. We will take her. Yes, we will. No, the same bait, Jim? Same bait, other side. The wind's kind of a battle, but we'll take anyone we can get, you know? That's really kind of the kind of the deal. Whatever we can get, we'll take. Awesome. All right. Just gonna flip them right over. You're good. I got you. There you go, Daddy. Beautiful. Nice. All right. To the window, maybe. Yes. Well, one thing was for sure. There was no question about that being a fish. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I agree. I think I'm fouling. I got one. Do you? Yeah. I got something. Yeah, it's on the surface. Got a small one on the surface. Little guy? A uh, little guy. Yeah. Little lunge. Little lunge on the depth rater. Now I'm going to go in. I'm just going to reach the pliers down and grab that front hook and just flip them right, right off. And away it goes. This is the Yeti Panga Duffel, and it comes in three different sizes. It's fully waterproof and totally indestructible. Now, I use this to put tackle boxes in and store whenever I'm hopping in someone else's boat. So I can load this up with four or five boxes of different lures. I can put my rain gear in here, anything else I need. I can then go and take it, zip it closed. It's watertight. It's got a couple easy handles. Put it over my shoulder and go fishing in someone else's boat. Whenever you're looking for some other tool to hop in another boat to go musky fishing, consider the Yeti Panga. Load it up with gear and you're ready to go. Ox don't care if it's hard work. Ox don't care if it's rough ground. Ox 
don't care if it's a heavy load. Nothing outworks an ox. The Ox from Tracker Off-Road. A breakthrough American value at $57.99 plus freight. From bass and walleye to crappie and the great outdoors, you deserve more than old school aluminum. Reward yourself with the quality, performance, and extra room in a Ranger aluminum design. Packed with features, these rigs carry an ultra smooth dry ride and stable platforms. Experience a Ranger aluminum boat today. It's built to excel and priced to be yours. Mercury, go boldly. At Mercury, there are no limits to the lengths we'll go to make sure you have no limits either. Unlimited adrenaline. Unlimited fun. Unlimited weekend. Except maybe having to go home eventually. The V8 Mercury Pro Access. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. The muscle memory of a million casts fires again and again. As natural as every breath that I take. I can't stop. Just one more cast, strike, fight. Wow, look at that one. I live for the pursuit. Introducing the all new Tour Series. The only true cable steer trolling motor with GPS anchor. With the impact breakaway and rugged metal outer column you need, the Zero Flex metal foot pedal you want, and traditional cables that provide smooth, responsive steering. All built with the industry's most powerful lift assist system. Truly universal, high definition integrated sonar imaging, and the industry's most accurate pinpoint GPS anchor. Now that's tournament grade. That's Motor Guide Tour. Where's the dream destination of all musky anglers? Ontario. And for good reason, it's loaded with giant muskies. Ontario has hundreds of waters with thousands of spots loaded with trophy muskies waiting for you. Don't fight the crowds. Explore the waters of Ontario. Fish alone and get back in touch with nature. Ontario, it's the place where musky dreams come true. To find out more about my favorite Ontario musky waters, check out GoFishInOntario.com. Jesse Baker from Emo, Ontario, caught and released this 48-inch muskie from Pipestone Lake in Ontario. When you get big wind like we've had right now, we've got some big waves and you're using the inline boards, one of the things you want to do is keep your rod tip up really high in the rod holder so as much of the line is out of the water as possible going to the board. That way the board won't get hung up in the waves and, and it will run better and keep the lure away from the boat. If you have a mast system, that works much better on this giant wind. But in a pinch like this, these boards do work well. Just keep them pointed up real towards the sky, really high, and they'll run very effectively. That sounds like something. Fish? Can't tell. Yeah, it's a fish. All right. Board coming, board coming. Yo. Keep it coming, take a step back. Something's on there. Stand down. Down is good. Down is always good. Both are neutral. Decent? Oh, nice. Got a little spunk. I like it. Spunky dunker. Oh, yeah. We got him. All right. We got him. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Nice. All right. Jim. Jim. Okay. Nice Great Lakes specimen. Got a little something something going on. Yep. In this wind, we kind of got a pattern now of you know, we're catching it about 13 foot, playing around with some of the wind, getting the colors down, and getting a few more bites. That's what it's all about. I got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Real nice. That's a nice little Lake St. Clair lunge. Yeah. Oh, good. Beautiful. Pretty. Whoa. See ya. All right. Sometimes when the winds get too big, Jim and I both prefer to use the big motor. The kicker motor is our choice, but eventually the wind gets a little bit too large and you have better control with the big motor. One thing is a tip you can also do to get that bow out, especially when you're going into the waves, not with the wind, but into the waves, you can trim up your big motor and get the transom down, which will bring your bow up, which will create more lift in front, less water in the boat. So keep that in mind as a trick when you're trolling into the big waves, keep yourself drier, concentrate better, catch more fish. What are you thinking? I can't tell. Yeah, it's a fish. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay. You got a waypoint? Now I do. Come on. Of Still on? Yeah. Okay. Wow, how much line was out here? 75. Okay. Back up. Go. Got him. Feel a little better? Stand down. Stand down, we love. Oh. Get out of there. We netting them? Yep, oh yeah. You can see them, okay. This side. Got it. I'm waiting on you. Step back. This waves, it's kind of scrappy. Whoa. Ready? Yep. Got him. Pandemonium, but it's fun, but it is a tussle. That's for sure. It is a two-man effort. Tom's got to run the boat. We got waves coming over the bow, around the bow to kind of keep the boards right. I'm cleaning lines and just trying to do what I can. This is probably the bigger chore, but driving the boat in these conditions, it's, it takes work and concentration. So a combined effort by both leads to success. Look at the colors, Beautiful. spots. They are pretty. Nice Great Lakes specimen. Another strapper. One day to be a giant. Great job. Swims away, safe. That's got to be a fish. Yeah, it has to be, doesn't it? I got it. Oh, yeah, I see him on the surface out there. Yeah. He's on, he's on the surface now. Yeah. He's a long ways back, though. <laughs> he better be big because he's so far back. So we're just gonna keep our composure and go really slow with this fish right now. We're not gonna force the issue. I feel a little bit of weight back there, but with these big waves, we really have no control over the boat. So hence, we don't have good control over the fish. So Jim's gonna get all these lines cleaned up. This fish is fighting, taking drag, so I think it's a pretty good fish. It's gonna be something, something special trying to get this fish in the net, so <laughs> I can see it already. Okay, here we go. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah, Jim, not this one. Yeah, how about <laughs> it? Here he comes. Oh, yeah, he's foul hooked. Oh, he was in, he wrapped and jumped. We're good. You got him. Yeah. All right. Excellent. It shouldn't take long. Here we go. Nice. Nice. I love it. It's a nice fish. Yeah, she must have jumped and then got the hook in her back, so. Let us to believe she was a little bigger, but nice, a little less all nice good. Musky. It's a Great nice fish. fish. Let her go. Get him back out there. When you're trolling, one thing you want to consider is your rod holders and the position of your rod holders. So I use these down easter rod holders that are attached to this rail, and they will rotate up and down on the rail. So when I am trolling planer boards, I wanted the rod kind of pointed high to the sky. 
and when I'm trolling rods short line down in the water, I want to take the rod tip and tip it down towards the water. And besides that, I can actually manipulate the rod holder closer and have it tilt up a little higher or tilt down a little bit lower depending on how you want to position your rod. It is really important to have a rod holder that allows you to manipulate the rod. That way you control planer boards or flat lines and catch muskies. I use the flip daily. I'm fishing all the time in all types of conditions from snow to rain to super dry and hot days. Having a product that can not only work as a cooler for me but also as a dry bag is super important. It's kind of like a puzzle in my boat. I can plug in one size like the 12 and then the 18 goes here. It keeps my boat big and it makes my day on the river that much more enjoyable. Ox don't care if it's hard work. Ox don't care if it's rough ground. Ox don't care if it's a heavy load. Nothing outworks an ox. The Ox from Tracker Off-Road. A breakthrough American value at $57.99 plus freight. Ontario, Canada, the breathtaking scenery, the incredible wildlife, the endless sunsets, and the muskies. Ontario, Canada is home to the greatest musky waters in the world, and giant muskies are awaiting your next cast. Explore the waters of Ontario and catch your personal best. To find out more about my favorite Ontario waters, check out GoFishInOntario.com. Groundbreaking designs, unsurpassed quality, and unshakable confidence. Welcome to the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series. Leading the industry for over 50 years, these rigs are custom crafted and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver the ultimate ownership experience. The legendary Ranger Z series, unleash next level performance. Mercury, go boldly. At Mercury, there are no limits to the lengths we'll go to make sure you have no limits either. Unlimited adrenaline. Unlimited fun. Unlimited weekend. Except maybe having to go home eventually. The V8 Mercury Pro Access. Light, quick, efficient. Mercury, go boldly. It's time for the Yeti Tough Moment. When muskies are scattered, particularly across large flats, trolling is the only way to go. Jim and Tom battled high winds and big waves that certainly challenged their trolling precision. Fortunately, when one muskie was caught, it usually meant they encountered a pack of fish. They reset the lines, circled back on the area, and caught multiple muskies. Now that's Yeti Tough. Going with that dark, the one we had had a dark back, and uh, see if it's the dark back, the orange belly, and see if that might be do something in this these kind of conditions. Jim, what's your thoughts on why this section of this large lake is, you know, seems to hold the largest population of muskies without question? Yeah, I think if you you know you look at these Great Lakes things, and you know one of the things you want to think about in early summer is where's the warmest water, and you can actually get online and and look on the NOAA weather, the Coast Watch, and you can find in all the Great Lakes, you can see where the warmer temperatures is throughout an entire lake. And look, you can also look at, you know, where there's more water color. And if you look on both those two websites and those areas, you'll see one image, it shows warmest water in this section of the lake, and number two, the more stained water in this section of the lake. So it gives you some clue to kind of head in that direction. Where is it warmest, where is it more stained, and it also happens to hold the most bait. I think I saw something jump out there. <laughs> oh, gotta get in front of the board. Oh, he's got it. It is what it is. Did you get him around it? Yeah, I did. Can you bring that to me? Little lunge. Little lunge. Oh. Okay. All good. We're all good, man. Excellent. 
ground dwarf water. They're in here. They are in here. Maybe they're just starting to warm up. As we're trolling around, one of the things we're looking for is water with some stain or color to it. The really, really clear water is much colder than the darker water. Now, you don't want it chocolate milk color. You want to be able to see down a few foot. As a general guide, I like to be able to have some stain, but see down about three foot or so, where you can kind of see your prop near the bottom of the boat. When you look over the back, you can kind of see that. But you notice when you definitely see that the water temperature is a few degrees warmer and there's more bait in those areas. So water color is key and you want to pay attention to that when you're trolling anywhere in the Great Lakes. Fish, that's a fish. Take them, oh. Jim. Take them. Waypoint them for me. You got it. Wasn't making any headway on them. That's good. I like that. I saw him splashing at him. He's big. <laughs> and these white big waves, it's crazy. You just can't really make a lot of headway. It's got to be easy with them. All right, coming in. Right. Board, board, board. That's ready. Bring me the board. Got it. Staying down? Yep. It's kind of hard to tell in this wind. Keep on that motor. That's a great thing right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll get, him, I'll get him over on this side. Okay. Back on your side, Tom. I'm ready. Swing him around. I'm ready when you are. Ready when you are. We got him. All right. You just can't tell in this wind. Yeah, nice. That's awesome. We just caught one, turned the boat around, went back over the same waypoint. Look what happened. Nice. All right. You know, when the wind is blowing, I'll take anything I can get on these days. You just, sometimes you're thinking, can you fish or not? And trolling is just a great way to be able to go fishing. Get out there. See ya. Cool, man. Great job. Awesome. Do what we can in the big wind. Yeah, you would have a lot of fun in the summertime. Think about getting your baits out there and trolling. Big shallow flats, weed edges, open water. It doesn't matter. In summer, spread them out, troll them, and catch them. Join us next week for another big fish adventure on The Muskie Hunter. That's a fish. Yeah, that's a fish. Take them, take them. Yeah, I saw him jumping out there. Yeah, Jim, net this one. Board coming, board coming. Got it. All nice. right. I love it. The Muskie Hunter has been brought to you by these fine sponsors. The only way to store lures. <laughs> Don't look at the rods. Don't ever look at the rods. If you look at the rods, they will never bite. Dude, where are we Six now? for six. Stop it. We got a six pack. It's a respectable day. In the prop wash and running directly behind the bait. The boat. Boat. Oh, oh no. It's out. <laughs>